Hi, you guys. This is Michelle. Actually, ladies, I, I doubt guys are really watching or caring. Um, I just wanted to do a video on some things that I've gotten and then also a couple of tips or hints. Um, a couple of the things that I, I'm going to be showing on this video I got through eBay. And um, it was just a reminder for me to just double check the description because in this case the description was accurate I just so excited about what I saw that um, this size was a little different than my expectation on one of the items um, the other th tip is I think on my last video I had told you guys about some um, what do you call them cartridges that I had purchased this is not the one actually the one that I had purchased on eBay was the um, the Cricut Sorry if you can't see that. But the Baby Shower um, Events um, cartridge. And it was new in the package, everything. I opened it. When I got ready to do some items for a baby shower that I'm planning, um, put the cartridge in my Cricut machine, and it said um, Elegant Edges or something like that. And I thought, wait a minute. I don't have that cartridge. How is the one that I just pulled out of this container, pulled out of the package, how is it saying elegant edges? And so um, I figured there was no, I tried again, and this time it was freezing up my, my Cricut, which is not even a year old. And so I figured, why contact the seller? Because they sold me a product that was in the package from the factory. So it's really not their fault. So I called um, Provocraft, and um, they actually... Um, were very helpful. She asked me, um, you know, said, you got it through eBay. Do you have a receipt? And I said, yes. And I, I described everything that it was doing. And she said, it sounds like it was um, something in the software from the factory, which they do see it happen. So all I'm suggesting is that when you get a new Cricut cartridge, no matter where you get it, from the store, um, you know, I think as long as it's in a package, I mean, even if you bought it used from somebody, just make sure, put it in your Cricut, even if you're not going to use it right then, just double check. Because had I not had my eBay receipt, I don't know that they would have done anything. You know, uh, I had the receipt showing how much I paid for it. Um, and so basically proof, you know, but um, I guess proof that it was brand new. I guess that's probably what they would want to see. But um, so anyway, what they did was they gave me access to... Um, to use a cartridge online until the new one that they shipped me came out. So anyway, I got this last week, and it's all good, and I've used it. So, um, but it just I know that some people will buy cartridges, and you know maybe they're on sale or whatever, and you've never opened them, haven't used them yet. But you know you um, if they're if they're defective the way mine was, and all you know I had to throw it in the garbage. It was good for nothing. Um, then you know if it's a year down the road most likely you may not have your receipt. So that's what you might want to double check. Okay, so um, let's see. Oh, okay. I'm going to show you this real quick because my husband, he's such a sweetheart. He knows that um, I'm just having a good old time with... Oh, you might not be able to see that. It's maybe backwards for you, but this is vintage greeting cards. And we were at the Goodwill store and um, he always loves to look through the books for the computer books and stuff. And he found this and said, I think this is something you would like. And I love it. It's just got different styles of cards. And I love vintage look. But it shows you different techniques on how to make photos look vintage. So, um, so I thought that was really cool. And I think the book was maybe $1.49, something like that. So that was really good. Another day, we were at Walmart, and my husband knows I love red and black, so he bought me this um, paper pack, and it's 50 sheets by Colorbox, and I just love the paper, as you'll see, because like I say, red and black are my favorite colors, those of you that know me, but um, just beautiful papers. And I'm not sure, it might have been, I'm not sure if it was $10 for the pack or... Eight. I don't remember, but I really loved it. So I thought that was sweet because he's he's learning my style and actually he knows my favorite colors. But um, it was sweet that he scouted it out and just said this looks like something you like. So that was pretty cool. I got that a few weeks ago. Um, then eBay. I've been looking because I only have when I got my cuddle bug. It didn't come with any um, folders because. 
um, I purchased it used. And um, so the, the day that I got it, I went to Michael's and I had got this um, folder. And I think I paid $3 and change because they were on sale at Michael's. But I only got one, just, you know, I was getting a little of time. So I've been scouting out eBay for folders. And here's one that I got. It's a wedding cake. I thought that was really cute because I hadn't seen those in the store. So um, I think I paid... I'm going to say it was $2.99, and that was shipping included. So that was a real good deal. Then I got another one that was like for a baby shower, baby card or something. Um, but this is the item that I didn't, you know, double check the size. So there's the size. I mean, it's cute. Don't get me wrong. But um, when you compare the two, yeah. So I think I paid the same price for this as I did this. Okay, it's okay. I mean, I could still use this, but just word to the wise. Double check. <laughs> Double check. Whatever you're buying. Okay, and then um, I got this a few weeks ago, and I forgot to show you guys this. I thought this was beautiful, and I think it was, I don't know, I'd gone to Michael Joann's. It was on sale, and so they just kind of look real vintage -y. I don't know if that's a word, but it is now. So I like that. Then Saturday... We popped into Marshalls, and this is the only thing that I came out with. They had two of the EK Success Punches, and the other one was kind of ugly. So um, I just got this one. I thought that was cool for $3.99. And last week, I had a Creative Memories party. So if if, if any of you have never um, seen the Creative Memory products, at first I thought, okay, it's just other scrapbook stuff. But this stuff is really cool, and I can't even begin to tell you the... The options they have for photos. I mean, it is amazing. It's not just about scrapbook supplies. It's it's storing your photos and displaying them and just all kinds of good stuff. So the last party I'd gone to, um, Marisol's party, I had got this. And this is the border punch system. And so basically, here's the piece. You buy cartridges. Now this one came with this cartridge. So it's a fence. So basically, you stick your cartridge in there. Okay, well, I'm having a problem doing it. Okay, you stick your cartridge in there, and you put this on this little thing, and then you put your paper in there, and you can cut a whole border of that. So the cool thing is, once you buy that, I think $30 maybe for the whole system, after that, all you simply do is buy different cartridges. So um, that's what I got. This one is really cute. That's the banner. So you can do the whole border as a banner, you know, one long strip. And then um, the scallop edge, I thought that was really pretty. So, oh, there it is, sorry, the side. So I got those. And then I got, because um, I had a few dollars to spend, you know, that I had to use up. So I got the um, Precision Point Adhesive. And I've never used their brand, but I heard it's really good. So I used, an, I think, Zig's brand or something and the tip of it messed up but this is like a pen as you can see so uh, Marisol said it's really good so I'm in you know I'm gonna give it a shot try it out then the favorite thing that I got um is I'm trying to think what it's called let me see I got the box here it's called magnetic display and in addition to creative memories having supplies such as this that you can create with um, or ways to store your photos, ways to um, do different things with them. Display is one thing. And so I'm going to pull up what I bought. Okay. So um, I'm going to guess in here is probably say I use 12 by 12. So maybe it's 13 by 13 inside the frame. So, you know, and then the frame goes out there. And this is a real cool photo. And I, like I said, I just threw it together just to show you. I don't want to show you a, a bare board. But um, this is my parents when they were younger, my two uncles and my grandfather. And this picture was taken in Mexico, so it's, it's pretty cool. Um, but basically, this is a way to share photos. Now, it's just a picture frame. Oops, I have it upside down, but that doesn't matter right now. So it's got a place to hang it. You could also put it on a easel. Maybe, you know, sit it on a table. But the cool thing is, 
right now I might want to show this. And I, I didn't embellish exactly the way I would do it, but I wanted to kind of show you an idea. These are magnets. You simply take it off. Take off my 12 by 12 paper that I can still use for something else. Take the magnets, embellishments off, and boom, I have a plain board. Uh, maybe Christmas time, I want to put some kind of Christmas display, um, you know, whatever. I just thought this was such a cool thing. This is the bigger size I carry. There's also a smaller size. But um, I, just, I really loved it the first time I saw it. I didn't get it. This time I said, you know what? I am getting that. So um, I just wanted to show you the cool stuff I got. And um, thank you for watching. Bye.